I wanted to make this quick video to show how to clean your Camelback top uh, from your water bottle. I could, you could be using it for hiking, mountain biking, cycling, all of that. But um, these nozzles become extremely dirty uh, with dirt, uh, mold, if you, have, if you don't clean it often and you can change your uh, taste of the water you can uh, create a lot of stomach problems and a lot of different things um, that are not actually pleasant for our health so this is the best way that i have found to clean it there are different pieces and you might need different um, brushes and maybe a small screwdriver that you can actually remove some of the the pieces but the first thing you want to do is actually just do a little twist we have to remove this plastic or you put your mouth first from the actual part of the that goes attached to the bottle so you want to just do a twist and i will put it in the lock position and as you're putting it on that lock position twist to that same direction as you keep twisting just start pulling until it actually pops off now as you can see i don't know how much you can see in the camera okay but you can see it is pretty dirty already inside okay it's pretty dirty in there and you can probably see also i'm not sure if the camera but it's very dirty in the plastic area as well so you can use you can use a toothpick or you can use something like a little screwdriver the whole idea is we have to remove this section in order to clean all that inside because all that inside it has to be extremely dirty so with the screwdriver technically you just want to graph and you have to make sure that you remove and are able to take out this little rubbery part inside okay that makes it like a seal okay that is actually inside it's going to make it easier to remove this nozzle from there and as I was removing it, I was trying to squeeze in that area and then put my screwdriver in and then just slightly, because you don't want to break it, just slightly just pull it out, as we just showed. Now, the idea is to remove this section. So we want to do the same thing. We want to squeeze, squeeze the nozzle, put your screwdriver in and go deep in there, okay, and just... Try to pull it out and you just pull it. There are other bottles that are easier than the Camelback bottle. And that one I will show you later. So I tend to use more the Polar um, bottles than the Camelback. But that's how it comes off. And you can see the dirt that is in that section and also inside that nozzle okay so that's technically how we will take it out after you're taking it out what i use is some small brushes okay something like this and like this to be able to get in there and be able to clean all that section okay so with this one just try to clean all those small pieces, okay? Oh, and of course, you wanna use dish soap and water, warm water is the best thing to use. Once you, it's all clean, I'm just gonna put this one together and then I'll take it out again just to clean it. But once you have it all clean, we're gonna do the same thing just in reverse, okay? This part is gonna go first. And here, the best thing is to squeeze a little 
put one side first, then just pop the other part and just push it all the way down. Okay. Once you feel that it's not, we want to take now our little rubbery part okay, and just squeeze it in there. Make sure it just passes that tip of that nozzle. Again, with the toothpick or the screwdriver, I'll use the toothpick this time. Just squeeze one side, just make sure that that rubber piece is well inside. And that's it, it's all in. Once it's all in, just grab it back. And what you wanna do is the same thing as we took it out, twisting. You just wanna pull or push, sorry. All you wanna do is push, put it here in the nozzle. And if you see, I'm putting it not on the actual groove because it becomes really hard to put in. Just put it right on these two areas. And then twist until it gets there, pretty snug. And there you have it again. And you're not able to remove it. Okay. So it's nice and snug. And you just test. And it's all in. But make sure to clean that after a few rides that you do because it does it does get very dirty. If you haven't done it in a long time, be prepared to what you might find in there. It might not be pleasant. All right. Hope you like this video. Have a great day.